Hey guys, this is your boy Nathan here, and what's more with Matthews. So, in one of your comments, they told me, no more finger pointing. Well, I'm gonna point fingers at you. I am just kidding. All right, I'll put my finger away. Okay, so we have the Shark IQ. Uh, I do apologize, I haven't been uploading videos regular on the Shark IQ. I actually was trying to get it to map. I'm at like almost 30 cleaning sessions for this guy, and still I have not got a map where I can edit and tell the robot to go to a different room. Um, also, the robot can use Alexa, you can say, Alexa, tell Shark to clean the kitchen and the Shark will go out to that area. I hope I can get my map, hopefully this weekend, maybe early next week, and I'll definitely show you how the mapping process works. So here's a couple of things I did. I actually had evacuate and resume and charge and resume disabled because I noticed that the robot wouldn't go back to the exact same spot it left off of, so it wouldn't complete the entire area after it was done recharging. So the things I still like about the Shark IQ is it does really well with pet hair, uh, how it ever gets tangled. I will do a quick video of both the Roblox S6 versus the Shark IQ. Uh, one thing to note is in order for the anti-tangle to work, the robot has to run a long time because the process does is it moves the hair off to the right, I believe, or left, and it kind of slips the hair off. So it does take some time for the process to work, but eventually it gets all the hair out. But in my demonstration test, I'm just gonna do a really short run. Some issues with the Shark I2. Besides the mapping, I felt like it's not quite ready for climb time. Uh, there's a lot of bugs, which I've been still saying about. And unfortunately, Shark hasn't been proactively providing updates, like either through software updates, helping up with the app, or even on the robot. I believe I've received one minor update for the app itself, just tweaking a couple minor things, but it wasn't really an update to help fix the algorithms. Um, the robot definitely needs some updating as well. The reason why I think Shark hasn't been providing an update is they're kind of fighting with Roomba. You guys tell the difference? Yes, there's been a battle against Shark and Roomba. Uh, they're kind of duking it out. If you just Google iRobot War with Shark, you can find a forum where they talk about some infringement processes. I'm not gonna go too depth into it, but basically I believe Shark infringes on three different things. Um, just as a consumer, I noticed that Shark is significantly different, but maybe there's some internal things that Shark kind of infringes upon. But, you know, I hope Shark can stay around because Roomba, even though they're good robot vacuums, really do need some competition, especially for the self-emptying bin. At close to $1,000, it's kind of out of reach for a lot of consumers, and I like that Shark was able to do half the price and offer very similar features. So if Shark's saying, oh, we can do it for half the price and kind of specifically pointing out Roomba, well, that's gonna make iRobot mad, and I get that it's a business, but hopefully Shark can make amends with iRobot and they can both be on the market. Okay, that was just my short, uh, Spiel on the Shark IQ. I will give you guys a quick hair test. If you like this type of video, please smash the like button because you know, Sharky or Shark loves happy, smiling people on my channel. Also, the Roomba likes it, the LG loves it too. All these robot vacuums love you guys and they love the feedback, they love everything, they like to be on camera, you know, they just like to be happy little robots. Also, I'm Robot Masters. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. You clearly see I'm a robot fanatic. I love robot vacuums. I love anything that has a brain, a processor, and can think on its own. And I try to do weekly uploads, and I usually get a new robot vacuum every month or so. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this hair test, and you guys have a great rest of your day. See you later. Since I don't own any pets, I went ahead and went on Amazon and got a bag of hair. I weighed out about 2 grams each for each robot and see how much they picked up and I just kind of put the hair out in a line just to see if the hair would get wrapped around the brush roll and if the robot would pick up the hair. You may notice that the robot was swaying left and right. Well, that was my driving skills. I actually had to Roblox on remote control mode since the cleaning pattern on its auto mode starts out with the perimeter. I just wanted the robot to go towards the end of the room and come back. Well, it's been a bad day for Sharky. Apparently, it was on its charging dock, but wasn't charging.
Okay, so the shark was on its medium power setting. I also will do additional tests on its high power setting because you'll see that there is some hair tangled up when I check both robots. I suspect that the self-cleaning brushes needs more time to clean itself out. Sorry, Roblox didn't mean to be so rough. Anyway, so the combo style brush did really well. I don't notice any hair wrapped around the extractor or the axle, so good job. Let's go ahead and flip around the shark IQ. So there's some uh, bristles in the back there towards the rear of the extractors. I noticed that there's some hair collected up there, if you can see it. So like I said before, maybe if I gave it extra time, that hair would get sucked up in the extractors. Also, there's some hair in the extractors as well, towards the center. And I also noticed some hair wrapped around the axles. It wasn't too hard to get out of, but it's just one thing to know. Let's go ahead and try the same test on the Shark IQ with a little bit longer run time. Also, I'll try putting on a high power setting, see if it makes any difference. The last test was on its medium power setting, so maybe having more suction will help pull up the hair. Okay, so I let the Shark IQ run on its high power setting and do a couple more passes. We'll see if that helped. It looks like there's not as much hair in the rear there, and the extractor looks pretty clean. As we get up close, there's some minor hair wrap, but nothing too bad. And like I said, if we let the robot run maybe an entire cleaning cycle, all that hair would eventually get removed. I didn't notice any hair wrap around the axle, so it looks like it did a little bit better job. So, uh, have a great rest of your day. You guys be safe out there, and I will continue doing more testing on the Shark IQ. Hopefully the mapping will be done shortly. Okay, see you later.